I feel like I remember the Vogue. I was a kid in the '90s, you know, so I feel like I, I feel like I could possibly strike a pose. But mm, I think you just did the Macarena. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Can I Borrow Your Love? Behind the scenes, making music in the age of COVID-19. I'm your host, Dave Madden, and I'm releasing a new song called Can I Borrow Your Love? Can I borrow your love? Can I borrow your love? This is new original music, and if you're the kind of person who wants to support that, to support original music and independently produced art, then I've got great news for you. You can support this project by donating any amount through any of the payment methods that are on your screen right now. Today we're joined by Jonas Bize and Taylor Webley, two of our amazing dancers. And Andre Kontov, David Messier, and Piper Payne, whose work was truly behind the scenes. They are the audio engineers who helped to record, mix, and master this song. Let's start with our dancers. Jonas, what role did dance play in your life before COVID and how has it changed during the pandemic? Pre-COVID, we were in the swing of spring, which in dance world is really busy. It was like prep time and then everything shut down. It was weird as things started opening up there were some opportunities, others reaching out to have dancers, how that was going to work with people not having funding, um, with space and time and so many things that we would be able to do in person that now had to be done in a totally new way. Does that all resonate with you, Taylor? Yeah, definitely. People have moved to digital platforms and have gotten a little bit more creative. Opportunities like this have presented and I think it's been really cool to see the creativity of people and how they're able to navigate even when there are challenges they've been able to come together even still in a different way you all danced your parts alone and then saw them later all synced up together as if you were kind of dancing together i'm just uh, gonna... are we going to talk about how i always have to dance alone he gets handsy with himself <laughs> <laughs> So I'm a mother of three. So learning choreography in my living room, whew, you know, I'm like trying not to kick my toddler and then trying not to step on the Lego creation that my kid decided to build like at my feet. <laughs> like, right. On the other hand, it also opened, opened an opportunity for me to be a part of something where I didn't have to leave my kids who have nowhere to go. I was able to be with them and still also rehearse and learn this and be a part of this. I was a little nervous, like how is this gonna look? We've never rehearsed it together. And I really loved how it came together and you see all of our different personalities. <laughs> I thought it was really lovely. Also, the dancers in the video I've danced with in person, and it's been so long. So just to see us like there, I was like, oh, look, we're dancing together. I want to point out that Talisa Davis, who is the choreographer, is traveling right now. Um, she couldn't be with us during the Zoom interview, but Talisa, amazing job on the choreography. Mm -hmm. David Messier is the owner of Recording Studio Same Sky Productions, where a lot of Can I Borrow Your Love was recorded. David, can you talk a little bit about the pandemic related safety protocols that you've had to put in place? Sure. I mean, you know, listen, recording studios, we know isolation. We're keeping the sound that people make away from one another. And as a result, we're inherently very closed off spaces, generally without windows. And unfortunately, with in many cases, poor or subpar ventilation, as it came time for Same Sky to uh, be able to reopen, we thought really long and hard about how to make that safe. Um, and shared that information with others. And it ended up in Billboard magazine. And, and what strikes me is that I think that in itself is an indication of uh, how poor uh, the leadership has been in this. We did not invent Lysol. We simply wrote down what would be the best way to stay safe in a studio and it made national news. It reverberated through the industry. You guys were the only ones to have done that to write something down. You guys had the bravery and literally just the common sense to be like, hey, uh, if you're gonna do this, at least don't be an idiot about it. And that was really, really cool. When you're talking about a very contagious respiratory disease, singing is uh, problematic. You've done a great job of creating a sterile environment without 
the unwanted byproduct of sterilizing the vibe, the mojo. You know, a recording studio should yeah. be a creative place, and now you're being hit with this thing where people need to stay apart. And maybe the moment that inspiration strikes for a singer, no, they can't just run into the ISO booth because somebody was just in there singing. Andre, as an audio engineer, is it challenging working with audio that may have been recorded not on high quality, expensive studio gear, but just with someone's smartphone? Absolutely. You get one track that's recorded in someone's living room, someone's recorded one in their bathroom because they thought the reverb was cool. It's like, well, that's cool, but you just screwed me. Don't do that. Because <laughs> you're you're kind of you're putting your reverb on there, and there's no way to put that toothpaste back in the tube. If I gotta try to undo that, that's a lot more work. And right. I don't like working very much. I'm a recording engineer. I didn't get this this <laughs> job to work a lot. I mean, come on. Piper Payne is an expert mastering engineer. She was the mastering engineer on "Can I Borrow Your Love." This particular track, and I've worked with uh, David and Andre and you actually before. I was pleasantly surprised at how good everything actually presented. You're just in service to the project and Dave's music. Jonas Vize, Taylor Webley, David Messier, Andre Kantov, and Piper Payne, thank you all for your time and for everyone else. Thanks for watching. Can I borrow your love behind the scenes making music in the age of COVID-19?